Hello everybody and welcome back to Darkest Dungeon. In the previous episode, we had a pretty good time actually. Um, we went through some adventures, we actually did a short and a medium and it went very well. But we also did something pretty huge, something we haven't done in a little while. We brought on five new recruits. And with those new recruits, we have plenty of plenty of backstories and diary entries. So let's get into those now. Here we are again in the Cursed Estate. We have our five new recruits here. We've got a Shield Breaker, a Jester, an Assassin, a Hollow Knight, and a Twilight Knight. It's going to be very interesting playing with some of these. We did take on two level zeros, which is not ideal now that everyone's getting to level one, and we've even got a few level twos, but we'll work around that. We don't want to stop taking people in, and of course, we have plenty of capacity to work with here. But before we actually get into any of the backstories, we do have a brief little diary entry coming from our um our seraph which is um the person we took out on our last one uh seraph is angela and she says uh, by the light it's true a jester funny suit and all just north down the old road fool had a coffin and a cart with a broken wheel like to see him laugh his way out of that one and that's a little diary entry written by me i don't know how many of you will get that but that's a nice little reference to skyrim there um to Uthgar the Unbroken, but I just, I don't know, I, as soon as I saw we had a Jester coming in, I've been having that in the back of my mind for a while now and really wanted to use that, so I ended up doing so. Uh, so let's actually get into some backstories now. So first up, we have our, um, we have our Shield Breaker, which is a new class uh, that we've got from uh, one of the DLCs, actually, and the Shield Breaker is very interesting. Does a lot with guarding and blocking. Um, for example, we can go and take on, like, this skill here, for example. And also, Pierce is probably one of the better default attacks in the game. But this is, and, and do I do apologise if this if I pronounce this wrong, this is Anguis. An Anguis? Anugus? An an Anguis? <laughs> Hailing from the distant deserts... Oh, by the way, this backstory was from Pineapple. Hailing from the distant deserts, an Anugus was always alert while adventuring in the dangerous dunes of the hot desert. However, during one quest, she succumbed to the burning heat of the desert and began to f uh, feel exhausted and dehydrated. Suffering lack in perception, she walked directly in front of a venomous snake, which quickly... Um, struck and poisoned her hand. Being jolted back awake, she felt excruciating pain and did her best to not to make it back to town before collapsing. Once awake, she was fortunate to find herself in the care of the area's best practi practitioners of medicine. Though she survived, her reputation had been destroyed, and she felt herself moulded by shame and haunted by the snake that caused it all. After some careful weeks of contemplation, she set um, she set out for a long trek in hopes of finding a place to make an honourable name for herself once more. Now, this is a great tie-in with her backstory. For those of you that don't know, the Shieldbreaker actually has a nighttime ambush-based questline where we have to fight seven different versions of this snake combat. It is very difficult, uh, so whenever we go out with... Um, Whenever we go out with uh, Anugus here, we're going to have to be very, very careful for that because, yeah, it, it really, it really does, uh, does make it very difficult to camp while you've got her in your party. So that's, that is Anugis and a very brilliant backstory there by Pineapple. Next up, we have Nick, our Jester. And I've been waiting for a Jester for a little while here. We've got some really interesting stuff that we can do with Stress Heal, uh, being able to, um buff a lot of people he's he's very very good uh we're gonna actually switch probably this out for finale i don't know how best to use him maybe we'll go with uh deck stab for forward finale for uh for back buff target and uh stress heal i mean we might want to go with this for forward three as well um but i'm unsure where best to fit that in maybe people can give me some suggestions on how best to play nick but either way this backstory is by friendly shep the town fool, they called him. The red cloak he wore to hide his horrid face was recognised by all. He was forced to scavenge for scraps, pieces of food that no one wanted anymore, just like him. He was called names, had food thrown at him, and was stomped into the dirt. Eventually, he snapped. He couldn't take it any longer. He was snatched up. He snatched up a sickle on the ground and sunk it into the necks of those who had wronged him. He was no longer the fool. He was the jester. Now, I really like this backstory. Really, really good. It's nice, short, sweet. Gives us exactly why he has come to the darkest dungeon. He was kind of shunned by the community, but he ended up snapping and then turning against them. And now he's become the jester he is today. It's a really good backstory there. 
Next we have our Hollow Knight. Now, unlike the game Hollow Knight, this is uh, quite different, but a very, very good class. Probably one of my favourites, and actually starting out with some of my favourite skills as well. Uh, charge and um, Pugilism are both amazing, amazing skills, especially charge. You can get some insane damage with uh, with the Hollow Knight here. Uh, and this is a backstory by Unsable Strafe. His name is Prisoner 10. Prisoner 10 was captured. It was a captured soldier who was forced to undergo occultist rituals by his captors, who sought to make an army of mindless, unkillable warriors. Using dark magic, they tore his soul and body from one another, leaving the former incorpor uh, incorporeal uh, incorporeal and the latter a near bestial shell. They then spent days st um, stapling his soul to an inanimate suit of armor. Once the process was complete, they were left with the perfect soldier, or so they thought. While his sense of identity was no more, Prisoner 10, as they had named him, still remembered the earth he swore to his homeland. He waited for years, making the occultists think he was under their control. Then he struck, massacring each one in turn. Without a body to call his own, Prisoner 10 shambling, shambled aimlessly until he found the darkest dungeon where his home had once been. Amazing, amazing. So it's literally just a husk in a, sh like a husk, like a, a, a suit of armor with nothing in it apart from his soul. And as you can see, it's cracked in the middle, leaking out his essence, and he's got a shard right in his head there. And this actually falls in perfectly in time with the, um, the Colors of Madness DLC that we just set up. So, yeah, beautiful backstory. Really, really like that one a lot. And let's get on to the next one. Here we are with Venus, our Twilight Knight. And the Twilight Knight has to be one of my favorite classes. Um, it's a super, super good frontline class and has possibly one of the best abilities ever. The ability to stress heal on a normal attack, which is just, oh, it's, it's, it's absolutely amazing. Uh, also, we've got ourselves the ability to activate repose there and um, the ability to take some stress off of others, which is really, really nice. Uh, we can also mark ourselves. She is going to be very, very fun to play. And this is Venus, again by Unstable Strafe. Venus and her counterpart Mars were once a single being. They were, a um, they were an ancient priest who gave up their mind so it could take the form and protect the weak. Venus is the mind, a silent watcher who protects society from the shadows within. Uh, from within the shadow, sorry. She sealed away her brother, fearing his fury would only harm the innocents. When tales of cryptic named Springheel Jack spread, she sought him out, though never found him. When the occult tried to seize Austria, she was there. It was said that Dracula was slain by her hand. When Venus heard the darkest dungeon, she awakened her brother and set out for the estate. So, we're going to be meeting Mars at some point. We don't know when. Mars is still on his way here. Venus has made her way here. A little earlier than him. A little earlier than her brother would call it. But it's more one being as, uh, as the story told. I'm very interested in when these two uh, when these two meet up again and and become part of one team. That's going to be a very fun uh, interaction between the two. Another great backstory there. Again, I do apologise for slightly slightly butchering the reading out of it. Um, I will try my best. But either way, another brilliant backstory. On to the last one, the assassin. Here we have Scarlet the Assassin, and this was actually one of the first ever backstories I wrote. I believe this was written on stream on the testing for the series. Me and um, me and a few other people wrote like two or three backstories uh, on stream, and this was one of them. So Scarlet is the assassin, born in blood, raised under a band of hired hitters. She was raised to kill, and kill she must. She takes a, a perverse pleasure in watching the life drain from a man, but it's become an addiction, a need. Taking on a contract against a, tough, a, a tougher and tougher foes, she needs a true challenge, and this is as hard as it gets. So she is quite literally addicted to, to killing. <laughs> so there's actually a negative quirk that, that's, um, that's, uh, that, that really would... Um, go with her backstory well so we'll see if we're picking that up but that's our backstories here like i said there was a lot of them we went through quite a lot there and um, we've, we've, we've taken on quite a few new people but i'm really excited to um i'm really excited to get involved with these guys and take a few of them out and just so, sort of see how we go i'm probably going to take the level zeros first and make sure we get those leveled up as quick as possible but we'll see we do also have plenty of diary entries we've been getting a lot recently very very happy about that keep it up guys 
really like these diary entries. And we have one here from Rinaldius, the Dragon Slayer, who went out with Kronos on his fateful mission. Kronos died on my watch. How could I have done this to him? I came here to prove myself, and yet I failed at the basic task of keeping those I care about alive. It almost seems hopeless, and yet we must trudge on. We must defeat this foul, evil dungeon and eradicate it from the land. But before that, however, I need a drink. And uh, if you remember correctly, um, Rinaldius actually did go to the bar for stress relief there. So that's a, a really nice little hint towards that. Um, and we, we do have um, a few other diary entries to get into a little bit later on in the episode. But for now, let's uh, let's hop in and create ourselves a group. So we do have the ability to uh, go and kill a siren. I'm not sure if we want to do that yet, though. Uh, we also have the Wise and Hag. I think we need a little more preparation before we go straight in for um, for some boss kills. I think you guys can give me some good tips on what boss we should go for next, uh, based on this episode. So we'll see about doing that. So let's have a little look, see what we've got, uh, what we've got available to us here. Uh, first aid plus 30% healing skill. So if we go over to uh, our rescuer, who we've actually been using quite a lot, where is our rescuer? There we go, Lucas. We used him a decent amount. Um, first aid, so that's going to be a big boost to his first aid skill, which is really nice. I do quite like first aid, so maybe we'll go with that. We could go with that, or we can go with um, a Houndmaster Whistle, which we don't particularly need right now, or um, a Duchess Increased Speed and Stress. I think we'll go for this one first. Um, we do have a Duchess that we use quite regularly, or at least Herpings are used quite regularly. And a short mission here is going to be a good way to um, to start up for us. So I think what we'll do is we'll take Venus in the front line, Prisoner in the back line. Um, Prisoner's going to charge forward on his first attack here. Um, and then we're also going to have Venus sitting in, uh, sit sitting in the second slot here. Um, and then we'll go, who else should we go with here? So we could have a little sort of little dance going on between, between these two here. Um, in fact, it's very tempting. It's very tempting to have a little dance going on between, between, uh, our Hollow Knight and our Shield Breaker. But I think, honestly, it's best that we leave our Shield Breaker for now, simply because, um, I, I, I do think that we want to be trying to level up these two. Uh, and then we could possibly bring Nick as well. Like I said, I'm still not sure with Nick, the Jester in general, what skills are best to use. So we really don't need Harvest because we're going into the, we're going into the ruins. So we don't need that bleed. Finale is always good. Um, Finale is basically going to be what we use at the very end of battle. As you can see, it increases stress by a whole hell of a lot, so you don't want to be using it before end of battle. Um, but then we've also got the ballot, um, the the battle ballot, which is going to be really, really good for buffing everyone up quite a bit. And the uh, the stress reduction is so nice as well. So I think, yeah, I think we keep him in the back line. Do we? We need. We could really do with something to push him back one, but I don't think he has that. Okay, so what what we'll do is we'll we'll keep him there, and we'll see how he goes. In fact, can we keep him here, or do we need him in the back two? We we need him in the back two, so we'll keep him there. Um, in fact, no, 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 we're fine because um because because the prisoner is going to end up pushing to that position anyways. And then as our healer, maybe we'll take out Lucas. We've got some some hearty warriors here. Um. Lucas might be pr a pretty good healer here, so I think as long as he can heal from the back line, which he can't. Okay, um, that makes things more difficult. Okay, let's let's instead take Maggie out. Maggie's going to be a decent healer for us all here. Also dealing some blight damage, which is something that we need. So let's head out into this adventure and see how we go. Oh, actually, before we do, before we do, let's drink it up. I always forget to drink it up, right. So, we've not got the best trinkets yet. She's going to be getting a, a ton of stress reduction um, in, in her own attack, so we don't need anything stress related here. We'll go for a bit of extra healing with uh, with Maggie here. Um, along with... Is Maggie going to need anything else particularly? I don't, I don't think Maggie's going to need too much else, to be honest. So, oh, there you go. We'll go with Blight Skill Chance. That's going to help out. Um, our Twilight Knight. We've actually got a Twilight Knight Trinket, which is lots of extra damage and accuracy at the cost of a small bit of health. That's going to be very, very nice. Uh, and we can also go with a significant amount more crit as well. Um, 
Although I'm, I'm, I'm thinking maybe we could, we could have crit on, on prisoner here. Uh, that might be more useful. So for you, let's go with. You've not got too much dodge, anyways. Let's make sure you hit all of your attacks and go with slightly less stress. So you're going to be a real, a, a, a real good hitter there. Um, we've got a jester trinket here. Four accuracy and four dodge. We might as well take that. Um, take that on board. Then with with this guy here, we'll go with. He's not got much dodge anyway, so we'll give him the focus ring along with the um, the jar. So he's going to heal himself up a little bit. And then we got one more trinket space for our jester here. And I'm, I'm wondering what's going to be best. We could go with max health and protection, but I don't particularly think we need that. Or we could go with crit. Um, or go with more accuracy. Should we just, just go with how much trap disarm do you have by default? Oh, you only got 40% base. We probably don't want to put that on you then. Um, let's go with the boots and give you a little bit more dodge, making you very, very hard to hit. And this should be a pretty interesting group. Minus 10 accuracy after the first round. Hmm. Maybe you want to buff your accuracy then instead. Yeah, we'll do that because minus 10 accuracy after the first round is going to be very, very nice. Uh, very, very bad. Uh, and we'll sometimes attack allies. Nick. He's still fearful of everyone around him. It's it's going to be hard for him to to readjust, but we'll we'll see how we go, and we'll we'll carry on into this mission and see how this goes. So this is only a short mission, so we don't need too much food here. I'll take fifteen. We'll take three shovels, then two of each of these. And we'll take ourselves fourteen of these, and let's see how this goes. This might end up being a really odd group, a really, really weird group, but I'm, I'm hoping that this comes together nicely. And we do have a diary entry here, another one from Friendly Shep, and this is from our Bogatier Rune, after his first expedition in the last episode. I'm not quite sure why, but I'm feeling a new sense of hope. It might uh, make it might make sense to feel the opposite, considering the first of us has died, yet I can't shake this optimism. Perhaps we may truly be able to defeat this dungeon after all. So he's just feeling more optimal about the whole the whole situation he's in. I mean, surprising considering a death, but maybe maybe it's it's giving him some a new outlook on life and he's starting to see what he needs to see. So this is interesting. So having him on turn one is is actually pretty bad. Because I do believe that charge can... Oh no, charge can be used from either back too. So let's try use finale on him first. It's not going to do much. In fact, how much damage will it do? It's not even going to kill. It's going to stress us out. Okay. This is... This is something I didn't account for. Having, having our Jester on turn one... <laughs> it kind of messes everything up. Let's just try this out. Of course he misses. Okay, that's fine. We've got Soothing Slice. We can we can readjust here. Get that slice. Get that stress heal. Okay, this is the reason it, it messes things up. Because it puts it puts our knight in the wrong place. So we'll, we'll start cooking up. And then we need our Jester to go to the back. Especially to do is oh oh that could have been so good. So now we'll just move you to the back in finale. Uh, you're gonna gain a lot of extra stress, but that's fine. Um, we could go with a stress reduction. Wait, is that a stress reduction for everyone? Wow. Okay. Um, then we'll strike the back line there. We're already up front. So this is gonna be a very interesting group, and then we'll just make sure everyone's healed up and blight you. For six a round, that's pretty good. Only one round, but... This is this is going to be a very interesting group to play with. There's going to be a lot of movement. Which means we probably should have bought a more, a more mobile healer. It's certainly the case, but we'll, we'll just have to see how this goes. The problem being, we really don't want to roll... Um, we really don't want to roll Nick on first turn. But unfortunately, he has the highest speed. So that's it's, it's most likely going to happen. We, it's, it's, it's a dice roll, so we'll see. Um, we'll take this, yeah. But this is it's going to be something we, we may have to deal with as we go along here. We'll see. 
Got to complete 100% of room battles here, so let's go across this way first. Um, can you trap disarm? Let's see, 40%. Oh my god. 90%. Okay, we'll take it with you. Not getting the stress reduction, but I'd rather I'd rather guarantee. And in fact, we'll do this on you. This has used both of our um, this has used both of our holy waters already. But Nick is uh, not Nick. Sorry, um, prisoner ten is getting a massive damage booster there, which is very nice. Uh, let's use a herb on here. Nice, a little bit of extra money. Right, let's see how this goes. Let's hope that Nick doesn't end up getting first turn this time. And maybe we can we can go a little better. That's a great dodge there, prisoner. But you're taking the stress again. At least you didn't take double. Yeah, it's not. This isn't great. Um, isn't great. Pushes them to the back. And slash. We're gonna have to torch up here. Let's cook. Start getting our regen going. Charge forward and take you two out. That is what I mean by the charge. It is just. Absolutely lethal. Okay, that's great. That's actually very, very useful for us. Now we can get some stress reduction here, which is exactly what we need. And we'll just go for the cook immediately and get the blight on everyone. And get the whale there. This might actually kill. Yes, it will. Lovely. Lovely. We'll finish you off. This is... Okay, it's a bit... It's a bit odd. Also, because we've got Maggie in the group, we're going to be finding a few extra edibles. Um, we're going to get an extra bit of virtue chance for the next battle here. We'll open up this heirloom chest, see if we get anything extra. But this is... It's going to be difficult. Um, the the problem the problem being Jester is just in a, such a weird spot that we can't really do much. So, maybe the play is we put... We put you there... Hmm. Wait, can can you cook? Okay, so you go there, you go there. So let's think about this. So if we go forward here, we're going to get forward one. You're still going to be in the back line, which is great. So you can do your charge, move up to here. I don't believe it's position dependent, apart from the back two. Yeah. So you're gonna you're gonna move up, prisoner. Uh, that's gonna push Maggie back. Okay, this should be better. This should be better. We'll, we'll see how this goes. Ah, oh, unfortunate trap there for Nick. He just caught the edge of that there. Couldn't quite see it. Didn't quite have the torch high enough. Unfortunate. We're going to take a little bit of stress here. And they really, really, really like the, uh, the Hollow Knight right here. So we'll take off a bit of that stress. And we'll take some stress again. So we'll end up taking that stress off yet again. Oh my god. Um, we'll go for the we'll go for the slash. Actually, shall we? No. Mm, it's difficult to say. Yes, we shall. We shall. We'll try and get we'll try and get the stress dealers killed. Go for the charge. That'll kill you off. Nice. Get a bit of bleed on you as well, and a bit of a knock around. Um, give a bit of restoration to Nick after that trap. He definitely needs it. We're taking our first bit of stress. Oh no! I thought we were take our first bit of stress there, but. Twilight Knight, not taking any. Right, they they despise Prisoner. They absolutely despise Prisoner. But Venus should be able to do some good here. We'll finish you off. Um, unfortunately, we can't get the back here. This would clear horror, but it would give us a lot of stress anyway. So I really don't think it's necessary. Wow, 25 stress for an extra two rounds. Let's keep him going. Come on, prisoner. Nick's getting hit, but he did... Nice dodge there, Nick. Nice dodge. We're going to keep playing that tune. Keep reducing stress as much as we can. And we'll activate a repose here, considering we don't, can't hit the back line. And we'll take out our body. Nice one, prisoner. Maggie's coming in for another heal. We'll go for another heal on Prisoner here. I think it's going to be best. Venus, what are you saying? And... So we'd have to Dexab a few times to use Finale here. Um, 
We'll deck stab though. Oh, and a miss. That accuracy reduction after the first round is really stacking up. We don't have any loud on them, so we can't unfortunately get rid of that horror. Um, what's si six times four? Okay, I think it's best if we just... Let's clear this. I think it's best if we use the move that gives him stress. Because it's going to reduce that stress anyways that we were going to take. We were going to be taking that stress no matter what. Please don't. Oh, for God's sake, leave him alone. It's going to clear that horror that we got straight back because the game does not like us today. Not having a good time with, uh, with Prisoner 10. We are really not. Uh, let's do let's do some de-stress on you as well. Big de-stress here. Keep going for the de-stress. I know you're going to target him again. I know you are. It's just unending. Oh, and a miss there as well. I think we do this again. It gets his stress up high, but kind of sorts us out. Right, we'll feed there. Oh, reinforcements. No. How has this gone so badly? Them enemies are brutal. And he's irrational already. I was really not expecting that at all. I was not expecting reinforcements. I don't know why. Right, you can go. You get out of here. That's, of course, very bad. We'll still try and reduce his stress because we don't want him to have a heart attack. But that is not what I was expecting at all. Stress coming in early is, is bad. I mean, starting off at 20 stress doesn't help. But this is this has put a definite damper on this run. He's refusing stress heal. Dude, you can't be refusing stress heal. Run for the old gods. Okay. Can't do anything from here, so let's just do stress healing. Right. Slash you. Okay, so that was certainly not great. So we got to reorder our party again. Oh, that's the quest complete. Interesting. Um, I'm going to return to Hamlet, actually, because of that stress and see if we level up. If we level up, I'm very happy with this. If we don't level up, I'm not going to be so much. But I think we will. Yeah, we all leveled up. And we got Infusion Extra Healing, Beast Slayer, and Seeing in Red. Extra damage while bleeding, extra crit while bleeding. So Prisoner 10 took on a lot of stress. A lot of stress there. And let's uh, let's go and put him in for a bit of stress healing. Because he, he certainly needs it. Certainly needs it. Right, you can go to pray to a higher power, certainly. Let's see if we've got any new one, new people we want to bring in. We have a Seer. We have a Vestal. Yes. Okay. We're taking on a Vestal. Um, Seer. I'm not sure if we're taking on Seer yet. Let me let me just have a little look. See. Um, if Seer already has a backstory, because I, I swear Seer got one recently, then we'll definitely take him. If not, we'll leave him for now. Because although Seer is an interesting class, we've definitely got more interesting ones to get first. Let's have a little look-see here. No, we're looking for Fury, not Seer. Yeah, Seer doesn't have a backstory yet. We're going to leave him. Um, we've already got an Arbalist. We've already got a Mitre. We do have an Acolyte of the Sun here, but it's a level 0. I'm trying to take on level 1s right now, so we'll just leave it at that. Taking on a Vestal there is amazing, and we can actually see if we can get up uh, a backstory for our Vestal right now. Here we have Diane. This is our Vestal, and this backstory is by Seabass. The Catholic Church had always imposed strict rules on the nuns. The nuns could not enjoy many of the luxuries that regular people could. Thus, whenever available, most of the the nuns would find sneaky ways in their little pockets of free time to have fun. One in particular, Diane, believed that she could he um, hasten the abilities of healing the pain and wounds of people. She believed St. Peregrine's Laziosi had lended her such power, but often she was ridiculed. After all, she could not save her own fiancé, thus becoming a nun. One night in particular, the local crusaders came by and one was terribly harmed. His name was Renault, and he had a deep wound on the side. She begged for him to, cover, uh, to come over to heal him, and reluctantly he did. 
Amazingly to his eyes, she sealed the wound in under an hour. However, she was exhausted. Renault suggested for her to find a focus point, something to help her heal more effectively. And in the heaps of the church's garbage, she found a thrown away club. Um, with healing books and club in hand, she became um, she she quit being a nun and decided to work as a mercenary, a mercenary of healing. After hearing about the casualties in the darkest dungeon, she knew it was her time to shine. Beautiful backstory there. I'm super, 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 super happy to have a Vestal finally. We have been waiting quite a while for a Vestal. Um, healing abilities are just amazing. We're gonna have such a good time with Diane here, um, and we'll probably end up taking her out on, on our next mission, maybe. Uh, let's first of all de-trinket everyone. Um, you can keep your, your lucky dice on, of course. They are yours to keep. I will take everything else of everyone else, though. But that was a decent mission. I mean, we did take a, a pretty hefty uh, pretty hefty bit of stress there. Very quickly, uh, actually, but mostly it went pretty well. Okay, so let's see who we want to go out with next. Because uh, we're, we're, we've not done too much this episode already. So let's have a little look-see here. So we can put these guys away for now. And as I said, we, we do have some bosses to do. But I'm thinking that we probably want to leave those bosses for another day. We've got the Sauron Prophet already. Um, I'm just looking what trinkets are available here. Uh, we do have some interesting ones, definitely. I think we're going to go to the curve and do the Ancestral Relics to get the extra um, range skill. That seems like it could be very, very useful. And also a good hefty amount of gold as well. Uh, ooh, there's a Twilight Knight one there. Extra healing received, extra virtue chance. Ooh, that, that one's kind of interesting. Uh, I think we'll go with this one, though. Go on a media adventure. Who are we going to take out with us today? So, we'll definitely take um, Diane here. Going to be a very strong healer for us. Um, the curve, of course, is weak to Blight. So, we could maybe take... Um, we could maybe take this one and go with Adder's Kiss. That'd be interesting. I think we will go with that Shield Breaker, even, like, n nonetheless, even without that ability. Um, Scarlet here... It's going to be doing a lot of damage versus Mac. I don't think we actually want to take Scarlet out yet. Um, and I think Rinaldius maybe would be a bit a bit wary of the curve right now. A bit wary of the curve. So let's have a look. Who's going to go out with that Shield Breaker here? Um, what, what also, what moves are we going to go with for him? Um, Blight. Let's 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 take that on and go for the middle two, and then maybe we can we can work in something to do with marking here because um, Anguis here is uh, going to be doing extra damage versus marked, so that could be very interesting. So Angela could go out; she does a lot of mark damage. Um, more bleeding there. Victoria's also going to be doing a lot of bleed. Victoria and Trell are a match made in heaven, but we're not taking those out today. Um, it, this is this is a difficult one to choose. Uh, I'm not. I'm not sure who's who's best for the job here. Do we have any mark synergies on anyone else here apart from like Clint? Uh, I suppose. I suppose we could take out Clint again. I'm trying to take out some of the people we haven't taken out quite as much yet. Uh, so maybe we'll go with yeah. So Ruby has has a mark synergy here. Does she have the ability to mark? Is the question. I don't think she does right now. Uh, uh mark target here. Okay. She can skeet shot to mark target. Uh, so let's let's take Ruby with us in our back line. And then who do we want as our second good damage dealer? I think, honestly, uh, taking Diane here is going to be all the healing we'd need. So we could technically go with Angela. Um, she could be very, very useful. Uh, again, doing even more. Even more mark damage. But we have recently taken her out. Uh, we could go with Red as well. But again, Red is, is very bleed heavy. Uh, she does have a little bit of um, a little bit of the the ability to mark here. This is the the difficult bit about this uh, about this series. Thinking of who's who's best going where. So maybe maybe we do want to take Scarlet then. Uh, mark target, mark target. So this is going to be pushing. We need to think about movement here. So this is going to be pushing her back. Maybe we'll take them two off and go with throat cutter. That's bleed forward one. I think we could maybe, yeah. So let's take these two, and then we're gonna have a sort of dance with um 
with our shield breaker Anugas here. Uh, so let's let's bring them to. I wasn't expecting to bring our assassin out actually, but it's seeming that it could be a very good idea. So let's again trink it up. Sort by rarity. Um, we're gonna want higher blight chance here, I think. We also have curve tactician, which is going to be really nice for us because we are going out into the curve right now. And eldritch here, which is. That's going to be like 30% extra damage against most of the enemies here. So we're definitely going to make him our big hitter. Any extra damage we can add to him is going to be great. Um, he does have pretty high dodge. We could just go with the extra accuracy and crit, which is going to be interesting. And should we go with the straight up damage as well? 2% crits received is not great, but it's not terrible either. Uh, we do already have Steady Braces actually, but I don't mind having another one to be honest. Um, so we'll definitely put Steady Braces on you. Taking your dodge down a tiny bit for extra range accuracy is very, very good. Of course, Diane's going to take the extra healing skills. Um, and what could be better? We, do, we need to check from a nighttime ambush as well. And we've got to remember taking Shield Breaker. We're going to be t uh, most likely fighting our snakes here. Um, I think... Hmm, this is a difficult one. Uh, should we just go with the extra accuracy but less dodge? I think so. Let's make sure that we're hitting here. I think I think being able to hit really accurately with our musketeer is going to help us out a whole bunch. Then we could go with crazy high dodge here, or we could go with some extra crit chance. I think we'll go with extra crit chance and a bit of dodge. You've already got pretty high speed. Um, move resist doesn't particularly bother you, so I'm going to take that. And then I think we're pretty much set here. Now... The only thing we're missing is this. Let's go with extra dodge at a loss of speed. And I think that's going to be fine. No one's wearing the Jar of Slime, though. Uh, I'm going to make sure that you're wearing the Jar of Slime, actually. I think... Yeah, I think even though you're going down to 19 HP here, although... Ooh, you're... No, no, no. You need, you need the dodge. Your HP is really, really low. Um... Okay, let's not take out the Jar of Slime. I was thinking we would do, but honestly, I don't think we need it as much as I thought. Um, and we do have our party heal here, which is going to be pretty damn good for us. And our s selected healing case, that's not going to be enough. Let's try this out. Let's see how this goes. We'll get take ourselves. We're going to want 20 food, 4 shovels, a lot of anti-venom, a few of these... Few of these, few of these, few of these, and a few of those as well. And we'll take 16 of those. Okay, that should be enough. I'm mainly bringing the Laudanum and the Anti Venom because I think you can clear the horror and uh, the poison within the snake battle that we have to deal with. That's going to be tough for us. It's really going to be tough for us, but we're going to have to see how that goes. Right, let's head on into the curve. We're going to need a little bit of inventory space here because we are going to be collecting quest items. And we do have another diary entry here. Uh, this is one from Harlot, read uh, by Friendly Shep again. And this is after the uh, the first expedition in the previous episode. That jolly old warrior up front sure has gotten his act together. Just a few weeks ago, he was missing his swings like he had just come out of the bar. Maybe it's something to do with the trinkets he wears. Maybe I could try them on one day. Great little story there. I, I'm loving the backstories, uh, developments, and all of the diary entries and stuff. I'm really enjoying them a lot. So, we're going to have to pretty much search everywhere here. Ooh, that's a bad start. We'll go for you because we get armor piercing. We're going to want to go for this guy next. Okay, please, 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 please don't give us uh, the curse. Right. How much damage are we dealing to you? We're dealing almost enough to kill you. Um, go three to eight. We might as well just go for this. Oh, we got the crit. Beautiful. Very nicely done, Scarlet. Very nicely done. Uh, we'll go for this. We need to kill him as quick as possible. In fact, I'm going to stun him as well. Even though we do need a bit of healing here. Uh, we do not want that curse. And we didn't bring any, um, we don't have any of the, the cures for the kit, for the curse yet. So, let's go with that. That's going to mark. You being able to mark on an attack is really, really good for us. Really good indeed. Very happy to see that. Uh, let's go with a heal on you. Our shield breaker. I need to remember all these names here. Anugis. Scarlet. 
Ruby, and Diane. Yeah, we should be okay to remember those. When, when we're bringing so many new people, it, get, it can get a little difficult. But let's let's go with this. See if we get some extra food here. That'd be great. Uh, no, but we did get an extra shovel and rubies and all that sort of stuff. So we'll leave over the... We'll leave the bandages for now. Take everything else. Bandages, while nice, uh, aren't going to be as useful while we're here. There are some enemies that can challenge that, but not as many. Okay, we're going to take a bit of stress here. Our, our ability to, to heal stress isn't great, but we do have better stress heals mod, which is going to mean that we can do a bit of stress healing with our regular healing when we're um, using Diane here. So let's have a look at his buff. Buff self for extra dodge, extra damage, and extra crit. Let's set that up now. We are going to lose a little bit of torchlight on that. Um, and let's take out you in the back line. That is some crazy damage. We're going to be doing great with that. Uh, Buckshot, that's going to deal... Okay, we'll go with that. And can we get a stun here? We'll go with a stun on the stress healer. Nice one, Diane. We are going to barricade, but you're still stunned, so you're not going to be able to do anything. We've got armor piercing, so we don't have to worry about his protection. He's got a 58 protection, but we can go right through that. Um, we can activate repost on Ruby. I didn't even realize. Okay, we'll activate repost. That is going to push us back one, though, but that's that's fine. We can deal with that. We'll try and take you out. We really need to be setting up marks on the further back targets, to be honest. Uh, and we'll try and stun you out of that guard. Yes, beautiful. That's what we want to see. Now, Shield Breaker Anugis should be able to finish us off. I'm probably butchering his name so bad, but... Okay, that's not too bad. That's not too bad. Um, we'll move forward. And that is a double crit. That's beautiful. That uh, that buff for the extra, um, the extra 10 crit, it's going to be so, so crazy. And 32 dodge. She's on 56 dodge. Scarlet cannot be hit. An assassin extraordinaire she is. My god. Scarlet is going to be a true, true warrior for us. All right, we'll take on this. We're going to have to get rid of a little bit more here. Sadly, we'll get rid of that. Got a bit of scouting here. That's nice to see. Oh, we got a first secret room. Okay, nice. We'll make our way back over that way soon. Um, let's uh, reorganize. Oh, we're, on, we're in default party order already. That's nice. Okay, got first trap disarm here. 90%. 90%? On there, on Scarlet. She is well versed in a lot of different things. Uh, sadly, we can't use that anymore. We just uh, we just threw away the ability to use that. It's a shame, but we, we did it for, for a good reason. We'll take this. Okay, so this is going to start to get annoying. Um, hmm. So we ha we need the keys, we need the shovels, and we need the anti-venom. Ideally, we need the laudanum as well. Um, we're going to be losing so much gold. Okay, so for now, we'll take it for this. I know we'll be losing a bit of gold on that, but for now, we'll do that. Ah, oh, damn it. We can get rid of negative quirks with that, I do believe, but we can't now. This is going to be a problem with this quest. It's going to be difficult. We're going to be dealing with uh, with inventory space management for a little bit here, but we'll try our best. We'll head up here as well. Good, good. So we need a slot for each heirloom as well. Especially with a stacking higher mod, you want to be keeping a stack of everything, really. Okay, we've got our battle here. A party surprise. That's the first time we've had a party surprise in a little while here. Um, this could... This could screw us up a little bit. We do have a good amount of movement skills here, so... Oh, beautiful crit. Scarlet, you are amazing. Uh, we're going to have to move Festil back. Um, Diane there. All right, we'll move you forward one. So these two are going to be trading places in the back line here. Uh, let's go with that. This is a shame. Vestal's really not going to be able to do anything... Um, now, because we were just constantly moving everyone around. Another crit, Scarlet. You are absolutely crazy. We'll set up a block here. Hmm, unfortunate. We're taking a bit of damage here, and we really need to deal with uh, with Scarlet's bleeding. 
of which we don't have any bandages. Oh my god, this is going to be bad. This could be really bad. Ruby. Please, please, Ruby. Just, just be okay. Okay, we have to take the party heal there. Okay, got you. Move forward again. Okay. This is difficult having to leave all this. Oh, I really, I don't even know if Loudenum works on the, uh, on the horror that the snakes give. And we might not even end up fighting them. But I, I feel like I have to keep it in case because it is a lot of stress. Um, we're going to be losing out on a bit of money here. But I genuinely think we have to accept it. It's very annoying having to keep a stack of money that's only currently 100. Also, I would like the dodge stone, but again, I don't think we have space for it. This might this might just be a run where we have to accept we're not going to earn much money. Um, we have to just take what we can take. And we've already got a few dodge stones, so I'll leave that for now. Um, I'm going to hope this heals. It buffed for 18% damage. That's not too bad. Uh, I am going to eat a small bit of food with you, just to make sure you don't die from that bleed at all. We'll head our way back down here. You're definitely in the lineup for um, for a heal straight away. Ruby. Ruby, Ruby. Right, hunger check. Okay, we're going to have a bit of a problem with hunger as well, by the looks of things. Which is also a shame. This is going to be a tough mission. It's going to be a tough mission. Let's keep on heading through. Another, another thing is as well, that while that secret room is brilliant, we are going to have to actually carry the stuff that it gives us. And it can give you a lot. And I don't know where we're going to put it. I really don't know where we're going to store it all. Okay. Page journals were fine for those, thank you. Um, We'll probably... Now, I want to camp now because we need healing and we could get rid of get rid of a bunch of stuff in our inventory. But at the same time, we've, we've got so far to go yet. I'm going to carry on. I'm going to take the risk and I'm going to carry on. We could always come back to the secret room at a later date. I think, I think genuinely that's what we should do. We should leave the secret room for now. We know it's there and just come back to it. Pass relief. Um... Yes. Nice hit there. Okay, let's hope. Let's hope, 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 hope. We can get ourselves a heal out here. Pretty early. Take you out. Nice. And get a big heal. There we go. Ruby's feeling a bit better now. A dodge there, unfortunately. Another dodge there, unfortunately. But we do get another heal on Ruby. Which is great. I don't remember. What did we put on you? We, uh, we gave you the extra healing ability. Great. I thought For, for a minute there, I, th I thought we didn't. We'll heal up our assassin. Scarlet. And there. I can't remember. Oh, it's, it's annoying I have to leave all this money about. I can't remember what touching this does, but I know that it's good. War and Explorer. Okay, nice. Decent. Okay. Secret room's getting left for now. We'll just come back to it later. And we've got less stuff on us. Stress wave. We're going to get quite a lot of stress here, most likely. Try and take out... Oh, big crit there, Anugas. Big crit. Really don't know how to pronounce his name. An... An... Gu Anguis. Anguis. People keep giving me really hard to pronounce names. <laughs> take them to finish that one. Beautiful. Okay, that worked out nicely. Oh. Unfortunate. I'm going to go for the back line here and try and take you out. I was hoping we could take you out before that happened, but luckily you didn't deal stress. That's all I care about, really. Another big crit from Anugus here. I'm just going to call him Anugus, because that's, that's what it seems like to me. An Anguis. Anguis is the name, not Anugus. But it's just going to... I don't know. I'm going to end up forgetting. Right, we'll do a party heal here. Everyone needs a bit of healing, a bit of stress relief. Good, good. We're leaving yet another trinket, but it's 
sad to say we kind of have to right now. We kind of have to right now. Um, we have to search everywhere as well because these curios can be anywhere. So I think we'll head through here. A little bit more money. Yeah, it's sad to say we're not going to make much off of this quest, but it's the way it's got to be. So once we enter this room, I might think about camping in this room, to be honest. Or should we go one one further? Yeah, let's go one further. Let's do one more battle first. Definitely want to disarm it with you, yeah. Nice one, Scarlet. As the light gains purchase, spirits are lifted and purpose is right. clear. Let's finish off this battle. We do have a few stress dealers in the back line there. Call of the Deep's actually better than a stress right now. Um, you're going to do stress wave. Let's set up your buff because it's just insanely powerful. We'll do that. We'll go for a kill. Sadly, Angelus did not get the... Oh, that's a big hit there. We'll finish off you. Okay. Barriered. Everyone's looking a little a little worse for wears here, to be honest. Oh, why'd I do that? I didn't I didn't even realize. Um Should be able to get a good amount of kills on you. Keep going for the Do you know what we'll go for a party heal here? Everyone's looking a bit worse for wear, so I'd rather get everyone up a little bit. Um This is difficult. Let's get you. That's going to, yeah, go straight through guard, so I'd rather just go for you. That's why the shield break is so damn good. And there's another crit from Scarlet. Scarlet is just non-stop critting. Non-stop. Beautiful. And we'll probably go for another party heal here. Oh, two criticals up on the weakest members. Thank you very much, Diane. She is getting well-versed in that whole healing Thing. And there's another crit. Oh my god, she's just insane. She is just crazy. Right. Gotta leave those. Please don't give me a random food check here. Do you know what? Let's go back in here anyways. Right, let's camp it out. We can't take the eight food because we could get another food check. So we have to just take the four. Right. Does anyone have Prevent Nighttime Ambush? I don't think we do. Oh, you do. Okay, we'll use that. Prevent Nighttime Ambush. Um, self only. 50% stress healed on a crit. Plus 4 stress when an attack misses. Oh my god. That's crazy. Um, 30% chance for monsters to be surprised. 15 damage, 5 crit, 1 companion stuff has 15% health damage. Um, who's got the most HP? Honestly, I heal at us. Uh, or we could go with... We're not really blighting anyone. One, all companions get armor piercing. Sounds really good. We'll go with that. And then... I'm thinking we do this and just you take a bit of damage there. And then we go with the monster surprise. And I don't think we can do anything else. No. Okay, so we, let's let's prepare. We might have to fight for the uh, fight fight the snakes. We do. Okay. As you can see, he has a lot of horror on him. Loudenham doesn't even work on it. That is that's terrible. Um I don't think block actually oh, do we not have anything that passes through stealth? Oh, we do expose. We really should have had that on. Okay. We've just got to go for kills. These things are so crazy. We have a lot of anti-venom, though. We can we can deal with it. Let's buff you up. Make sure you're getting kills. Infuse. There's that blight coming out. And bleed. Go for a party heal here. You're going to just get some stress. It's, it's sad to say, but 20 pair round for 5 rounds. We just have to beat this out as quick as we can. we got Repurse there. Let's go for you then instead. What's you, what are you doing on Repurse? I'm going to try it out. Oh, no. Okay. Okay. Not too bad. 
I should have brought bandages. I didn't know these guys bled as well. I thought it was just blight. Thought it was just blight. Okay. Okay, there's there's the sort of blight we need to be removing. We could definitely lose someone here. This is tough. This is very tough. Oh, you can't be serious. Oh, you can't be serious. There's a good, good, good chance that... We're... Oh, my God. My vision clears. Okay. I didn't know that that's how that worked. We didn't die, at least. Holy heck. So, Loudenum's useless here. I'm just going to get rid of Loudenum. We're not going to use it. Oh, my God. That was stressful. We've got bleed on two, uh, two people here. We're going to have to deal with it. We did Death's Door. We'll set up blocks for the next bit of combat here. Stop, please. Everyone's taking damage. A trap as well. Things aren't going well for us right now. This is not good. It's even worse that we've only got one of the ancestral relics so far. It's not great. There's battles all over there. I'm actually going to take the safe route. Hope. Nope, there's battles that way too. We can't take a safe route. God damn it. Ugh. Please let us get a heal off on Anguis, Anugis, whatever his name is. Please let us get a heal off early. Okay, this is good. This is good. Let's set up some blocks on you. Try and take you out. Everyone's looking a little weak right now, to be honest. We'll set this up while we're not getting attacked. That block's going to be very important for us. His resolve has been tested. Come on, please, 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 please. Ah, oh, he's hopeless. That's two in one. It's two in one episode. Leave him alone, please. And we got rid of the Loudenum as well. God damn it. <laughs> I shouldn't have got rid of it. Got rid of it. I kind of forgot they exist. Oh, well. Right, a kill there. We need a party heal. He's going to move himself. Luckily, we can move ourselves straight back. I really should have gone for the uh, the snail there and kill that thing in one hit. Finish you off. I'd like to get another heal in here. I'm just going to go for the blocks because I want another heal. Okay, everyone's looking a bit better now. And there you go. Is that armor piercing as well? It's not. It just did a lot of damage. Oh, my God. This is this is crazy. This is this has been absolutely crazy. The horror would have pushed him over the edge anyways. And I'm just I'm super annoyed at myself for throwing away that loud in him. Uh, right, got another battle here. Okay, brigands aren't as bad, although we have had a death to these guys. Nice dodge on the blanket fire there. How much torches do we have? We only have four torches left. Right, let's get rid of him straight away. Nice nice hit there, Ruby. Finish you off. Nice one. Nice and dice. We're going to keep going with the party-wide heal, apart from he's going to deny it because he's hopeless. We're not going to go for the buff this time. There he goes. A crit anyways. Scarlet is an absolute beast. Let's go for a mark on you. Oh, we're going to get a crit anyways. Nice one. Okay. Wasn't too bad. Oh my god. Okay. Everyone's still looking a little low, a little worse for wear. So let's hop in here and see what happens. Okay. So we'll grab that. And this will be our last one here, that curio there. So we'll go through here. Wow, yeah, the, the snakes are so brutal. Wait, no, it's not it. Oh, it must be one of them. One of the ones in there, then. One of the ones in the hallway. Interesting. We probably end up having a battle on the way back now. We need to go back this way anyways for our secret room. So I'm fine by that. 
And also, we can take a we can take a trap to Sam here. We did get another hun hunger check, so I'm very glad that I kept that food with me. Very glad indeed. Uh, you can go for that. Nice one. Bit of stress healing there, and there it is, last one. So we'll take that. We can get rid of the rest of this food. So we'll take that. Continue adventuring. And we'll head into here. I think that's our last torches as well. So we've got another free slot here. Not quite. Right, head into here. Open this up, see what we get here. And we got three of these, uh, which is going to give us a whole hell of a lot of money. So even though we had to leave a lot of money behind here, and some of it was definitely mistakenly. I mean, we still have six anti-venom left and four shovels. But it had to be done just in case. That fight could have definitely gone on longer than it did. We made it out. With 25k and the 4,500, 4, that's pretty good. Evasive is really good. Unface is really good. Um, that's fine. We hopefully shouldn't be below that much HP with you anyways, Diane. That was an interesting one, certainly. We get a free weapon upgrade this week. We'll see if we're taking anyone on for next time. Um, yes. Uh, shall we take on a Wraith here? So it's a level zero. Yep, we'll take on a Wraith for next episode. I like the idea of that. Uh, do we have a Forsaken as well? I don't remember if we do. Because I'm playing another save file at the minute, like my own save file, so I'm forgetting who we have. Doesn't look like we have a Forsaken. We could definitely take a Forsaken. They're very interesting to play. Yeah, let's let's take on a Forsaken as well. Um, and let's uh, let's. Put you in the abbey. Make sure we get your trinkets off you first. Wow. That was, uh... That was crazy. Honestly, that was crazy. We're getting a decent amount of trinkets now. We're building them up. I'm sad at the amount we had to leave in there. But that's sometimes how it is, isn't it? Right. You can go to pray to a higher power. Where, where are you? You're stressed out, dude. Pray to a higher power. Hopefully that sorts you out. We've got good money now. Have a look at this. Extra scouting chance, but we get less speed on the first round. I'm pretty tempted by that. Um, and we have uh, we have this as well. The crystal shop. Okay, so we could start upgrading this. Let's see. Should we? Can we upgrade these first? Yeah, let's upgrade that. And upgrade that. And we'll trade papers as well. Wait a minute. Before we do that. What do we need for this upgrade? Oh, I, don't, I, I genuinely don't know. That's that's kind of annoying. Um, I don't want to trade away the wrong things. So. Let's trade away. Used to upgrade town buildings. Oh, they all just say town buildings. Okay. I was wondering if it would specifically tell me. So I need... I need nine of these. So... Do that, and then... There you go. And now, we can go over here. Can we afford it yet? We can, yes. Okay, so we can start bringing in level 2s now, which is very, very good for us. That's going to really help out. Uh, and now we can actually spend some money on getting people upgraded, things like that. So, first of all, make sure we, we don't have anyone on Embarked. But yes, please do advise me on who we should go for next in terms of our boss and who you think we should bring as a party. That's going to be really useful. Um, so... I think everyone can upgrade skills here. Yeah. So let's first of all make sure all these guys are, are getting upgraded. Is there anyone that isn't? I mean, the, our new ones won't be. You're fine. You can't do anything yet. Good, good. I kind of want to change that for this. Make sure we change that over. That's more useful, in my opinion. 
Scarlet's looking good. Nick's looking good. Um, right. We've got a lot and a lot of armor to upgrade here. Free. Interesting. Let's uh, let's go with the cheaper ones first. Get our level ones done. Twos. Make sure all of these guys have their armors upgraded. It's a big, big help. I mean, I could just shift click them, couldn't I? Yeah. So, for the most part, all of them have come in upgraded already, like level ones. So, we're not having too much issue with that. Good, good, good. Everyone's looking good so far. Aurora's still looking a little worse than where. Okay, everyone there's got their upgrades. And then we'll go in for skills. So I don't think any of our level 1s can actually upgrade past this now. Only our level 2s. So we might as well upgrade our, our level 2s while we get the chance. And with them 2 They're the main two attacks we move. We use, sorry. Um, here we want to be going with... Them ones, I think. Oh, we're using Inspiring Cry. We'll upgrade that as well. We can switch between those. That's fine. Uh, we mainly only use these two here, so I'm only going to upgrade them two. Rune. Still got 14,000 left. We'll upgrade them two. And... There you go. That's all our level twos for now. But that's gonna be that's gonna be it for today. I think we used pretty much all of our upgrades here. But it means that we should be getting level twos in. And while that's good for just getting some new people that are already leveled up, anyone that's level one that we get in a level two version of, I'm gonna be trading out to like auto level them. When we get to some of the later levels, I probably won't do that as much. But we will be trading people out um to level them this time around because it's just going to be so much easier for us. Either way, hope you guys enjoyed this episode. We got a few weird stressy, stressy moments there. But either way, it went pretty well and I'll see you guys in the next one.